<laughs> like the dark side. Uh, yeah, no, it's been good. It's been good. Really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's obviously coming into it. You're never quite sure how it's going to be. I've obviously been planning to get into this side of football for for a while, while I was playing for a number of years. But you know, you're never quite sure, obviously, until you take that step. So, um, yeah, it's been different. A few more hours, uh, certainly. That's one thing I've noticed. Um, but it's it's been really enjoyable, and you know, learning every day and. Uh, you know, working with a good coaching staff, a great manager, um, and as I said, yeah, learning all the time and and enjoying being part of you know what we feel is you know still going to be a, a really good season. Yeah, it's difficult. As I said, with the, the the hours I've just mentioned, you don't get too much time to sit and uh, think about it. Um, so no, listen, I've got a real passion for this side of the game, and it's taking all my, you know my thinking time. I don't really sit and think. Uh, about days gone past and, and playing, you know, it was fantastic. It was privileged to have a great c career, um, particularly at this football club. Uh, and it's just great to be a, still be a part of it and, and you know still be making a contribution on this side of it now. What's been the most surprising uh, aspect to um, I don't I don't know. It's a difficult question. That um, there's not been too much. It's, it's, as I said, it's something I've been planning for for a, a long time. I've been involved with the, the youngest teams in, in the under 20s with Stephen Craig and so uh, and latterly even when I was playing little bits and pieces with the first team um, so uh, you know it was a gradual process for me so it's not something that's came out of the blue and something that mentally I hadn't started to prepare for so there hasn't been too much that's you know surprised me uh, outright um, but as I said always you're always learning always learning every day uh, you know the planning for games, the, the analysis that goes into it um, you know after games how you deal with that winning and, and losing which you you know you feel even more responsibility for as a, as a coach and as a manager you don't have just your own little bit to to look after as you do as a player most of the time so um you know you take certainly take more responsibility and that's something that you've got to get used to so um but it's it's, it's as i said it's an ongoing process for me of, of learning and and one bit one i'm really enjoying you take the defeats and the wins and the victories in a different way now than what you yeah i think i think you do yeah i think you probably take more responsibility certainly um, you know as I said as a player you, you tend to, to think first and foremost about your own contribution to the game um, but as a coach uh, when you when you put so much into it and, and so many hours into it in terms of the, the, the analysis and preparation for every single match um, you know it's it's you take great pride when it when it all comes off if you like and you get that result and but ultimately if it doesn't go your way then you know, there is, it's, it's, it's not a great great feeling and you need to bear that responsibility or take part of that res responsibility. So, you know, you need to deal with that. It's something that I, I feel as if I was quite good as a player, not getting too high when it's going well and not getting too low when it's not going so well and just focusing on the, on the you know, in the process itself of trying to improve your team and improve, improve every one of your players. And, uh, you know, I'm, again, it's something I'm learning to, to cope with and, and do. But as I said, it's, it's hopefully something that I've shown uh, that I can handle and, and continue to do so. It's been a tough couple of months results-wise. Are you confident that you're able to turn your season back around again? Yeah, as I said, well, just going on the back of that, it has been a lot of highs and a lot of lows, you know, particularly the early part of the season. We had you know, a great run in the league and you know, getting to the League Cup final, which was fantastic. Uh, and then we had a tough end to the to the year, really, and, and the build-up to the to the to the break um, but I think since the break we've picked up we've looked hungry again looked fresh and, and uh, uh, you know as I said yeah we still hold high hopes of, of finishing this season well um, you know it's obviously it looks a real race to get into that top six now and you know we want to be one of those teams or you know feel as if we are one of those teams challenging for that um, no, as always, there's probably a variety of reasons. Um, you know, I think mentally uh, the the cup final and the the week that we had against Celtic, uh, you know, maybe it drained us a little bit in that sense, uh, mentally as well as physically. I think that coincided with a few getting a few injuries in key areas. Um, and you know, you add these things together, uh, it's it's you know you maybe take a little bit, you know, you lose five percent or ten percent, and in this division, it doesn't take much. The teams are so evenly matched that it can, you know, it can be a two percent, three percent, four percent drop that makes a difference in some games. And while we were on a poor run, we didn't feel as if we were ever, 
I don't think we took many doings, put it that way. We were losing games, yeah, but we were, you know we weren't too far away. But you know we've come back. What the break has given us is a freshness mentally, as I said, uh, and physically. And you know we feel as if you know hopefully energy wise we're back to to where we were at the earlier part of the season. And if we feel as if we, if we can get back to that and showing the energy levels again and the way we played the game in the first few months of the season, we feel confident that we can have a real good and strong end to the season. What would be a good season for you? A good season, you know, a good season for us is winning tomorrow night for a start, which is the next game, which is almost the most important. Uh, but, you know, we, we just want to keep, keep, keep com competing on a, on a weekly basis. We, we feel as if we've total belief in this group. I think they've shown us enough uh, with the additions that we've made in the, in the January transfer window, which we're delighted with. Uh, that we can compete and, and certainly try and compete for that last top six place. You know, I think that's got to be our aim now. Um, we're still in the Scottish Cup as well, um, which again we've got great recent memories of cup competitions. So we want to try and do as well as we can in that. So we just want to try and push on, and uh, you know, from week to week, as I said, but all our focus on is tomorrow night and a, a game against St Johnson. Uh, I think we've got. Uh, you know St Johnston tomorrow, and then uh, you know our next game is Kelly at home. You know, so we, we know this is, is an important period for us, and and one that we want to try and kick start with a win tomorrow night. I think you're only one goal out of the top. Six. Yeah, yeah. Saying about how small the are, maybe how competitive that section of the league. Yeah, it is. Um, not just that section, but the whole uh, league. I think it's. it's it's really, I think there is a little bit of a gap now between Hearts and Hibs, the top five almost, and, and the rest. But um, you know, in this division, I've played in it enough years and enough. Uh, you know, now in this side of it, the margins are so fine. It's so fine. It can go down, you know, to a set play or you know, one lack of lapse of concentration that, that makes a difference in games. So, uh, you know, we need to 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 really be on it every every minute of every game to 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 make to be there ready to make the difference at that crucial time and I think that's what we're doing early part of the season we maybe just lost that slightly as I said uh, um, you know off the back of the cup final and into the the break but we feel as if we're back now the the group are showing a real hunger and desire to to get back to where we were and and we feel as if as I said we can be one of those teams challenging for that sixth position. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I think it's been shown in the past. I don't think because we're sitting in seventh position, Kelly are sitting in sixth. You know, all the teams right down to 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 you know the bottom will all be have ambitions of finishing that sixth position. There's no doubt about it because we know how quickly things can change in this in this division. Uh, you play each other a lot of six point preferable six pointers will be will be will be coming up in the, in the weeks coming up in terms of moving up and down these positions. Uh, and we've got one of them again tomorrow night against St Johnson, you know, a team that are, are, are close to us. And you know, it's going to be the team that can maybe put three or four of these results together on a consistent basis that will, will, will ultimately grab that sixth position. Have you made a St Johnson this season Yeah, I uh, know, and I think people just expect them to be there. I think we went through that that experience ourselves of a team that was probably punching above its weight for a, a number of years, but people got used to them being up there and just expecting it almost. And I think they've suffered from that a little bit, saying, you know, people maybe saying they're not having a great season, but you know that you know they're still in the mix for the top six, and uh, you know a team of really good, experienced players. So you know they'll they'll be there or thereabouts as well in this fight for top six. There's no doubt about it, and. Um, you know, again they'll be again one of our main rivals, and tomorrow night will be a tough, tough game. You know what you're getting against St Johnston. They're well organised. Um, you know, we've already, <laughs> albeit some circumstances, we're getting a couple of boys sent off, but you know they've obviously turned us over up at their place as well. So, you know, we 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 know what to to expect, and you know we'll need to be really at it tomorrow night to get to get three points. I was going to ask them, do you get a sense of what? Um yeah, absolutely. Fantastic finish. Um, you know, I think that's three home games now he's played in, and he's he's set up two goals and and uh, scored one. So it's certainly not a bad return. I think there's more to come from him. There's no doubt uh, in a fitness sense and and just being back playing football, which is you know that'll only improve him as it goes on but um you know we're delighted with him the impact he's made for us has been great the quality is undoubted um it's just trying to get him to do it in, in that consistent basis which to be fair he's he set the ground running with us so that bodes well and you know hopefully he could be or one of the players that, that could just give us that little bit to get us over the edge and and, and push us to you know where we want to get to is there any chance of playing 
contract player? Yeah, possibly. You know, I think you know, we're always looking. Um, uh, you know, I think every club will be uh, still looking to, to add if we can. Uh, but it's got to be the right one, you know. I think um, you know we don't just want to bring somebody in or anybody in. You know, it's got to fit into exactly what we need. And uh, again, you know, it's been well documented. The manager uh, plays up, you know, puts up a emphasis on the character of the player as well, and, and making sure he fits into our dressing room, which is is really massive for us. So, yeah, while we are still looking, it's certainly got to be the right the right player and the right the right person. Any for um, just George Newell and, and Ryan Bowman will still miss out. And uh, Peter Hartley, he's picked up a little uh, injury in in, uh, in training, and he'll be, you know, he'll be assessed by a, a specialist to to find out the extent of that. Just a foot injury, so he's got a little problem with his foot, um, and we're just still waiting to hear back how, uh, you know, how serious or not that may be.